Hi everyone and welcome back to Me Talk TV. It's Rena and I'm so happy that you decided to push that button and join me on today. And I promise you, you will not regret it because today I am doing a two-part series on how to get rid of bed bugs. Naturally, this is something that you don't want to miss. So please stay tuned and watch it all the way through, um, both parts all the way through so you can have best results with getting rid of these bed bugs naturally out of your home, okay? If you'd like to see that, please follow me. So what I'm gonna do is today I'm gonna be doing six, okay? And then the following day I'll be doing uh, another six. So that'll be 12 ways. Um, so the first way, number one, is to steam away the bugs. Y'all know in previous videos that I've talked about how to get rid of bed bugs by steaming them because they cannot stand heat, okay? So they so the steam around the house can help take care of those bed bugs because they cannot stand heat. I tell you this all the time that the heat will kill them in their eggs. So that is number one. Um, and Well, and another thing, steam helps to coax the bed bugs out of their hiding places um, and high temperatures is what l is lethal to them. Okay. Um, number two, target the bed bugs with a hair dryer. So you absolutely can use a hair dryer. Someone asked me that in a previous comment, uh, can you use a blow dryer? Yes, you can use a blow dryer because it consists of heat and they cannot stand heat. They cannot take the heat. So yes, a blow dryer is absolutely amazing tool around your house um, if you don't have a steamer, okay? Um, as it as I mentioned, heat can help kill the bed bugs and you can also, um, it will also kill the eggs as well. So it's however you say it. But anyway, um, so you're doing it all in one wop, okay? Um, and number three, apply a double-sided tape, okay? If you have not seen a double-sided tape, it's like you got sticky on both sides, okay? So you really have to be careful with that tape because you don't want to be sticking all over your fingers and you can't do anything. You're like, what, what's going on? So just make sure that you be careful with that tape. But what this tape does is it sticks the bed bugs to them, okay? It sticks it to them. Um, they, I mean, I mean, they stick to the bed, they stick to the tape, okay? And they cannot move. So in that case, they're going to die because they can't, I mean, they're going to, they're not going to make it because, um, the, because of the tape is sticking them to it, or you can just smash the bed bugs. Okay. Um, and so this stops their line of travel as well. Okay. So also you want to the bed bugs, um, let's see. So, and what, what, what kills them that way is they can't suck on your blood. They can't do it. They can't do it because they're stuck onto the tape. So, and that's the easier way, like I said, to smash them and throw out the tape. Okay. But make sure that you change that tape, um, every so often once it get full, because you just don't want that to be piled up all over the place like that. And it looks so nasty. So make sure that you are replacing that tape. Okay. Also, number four, dry your clothes and linen on high heat, okay? Make sure that when you take your clothes, when you uh, get ready to dry them, that they're on high heat, not medium heat, not low heat, but high heat. Because they, if they are hidden in your clothes or anything like that, that will get rid of them, okay? You won't have to worry about them being in your clothes at all, okay? Um, and also sprinkle some sila, sila, silica gel those little gel things that comes in the uh to to keep your stuff fresh you know the little packets that come like in food or your shoes or clothes or anything like that just open that up and that dries them out they can't take it so yeah that is another way to get rid of these bed bugs but if you have children around please be careful with them do not let them eat that do not let them touch it because you're not supposed to eat that at all okay also and so, um, keep, okay, keep your luggage in plastic. This is one of the things I've talked about as well. Always keep your luggage put away 
if you have bed bugs because you don't want them getting into your clothes. You don't want them getting into your luggage. You don't want them getting into anything, especially if you're at a hotel room. You don't want them getting into your luggage. So make sure when you go to a hotel room that you check for bed bugs because like I said, they could be lingering around. Sometimes you put your luggage down and you're not paying attention or you're watching TV or you're leaving the hotel room and you're just not thinking about the bed bugs, okay? But sometimes these hotels have those and you need to be vigilant. You need to have your eyes open because you don't want those little creepy crawlies crawling up and down on your clothes and you're traveling and taking them back home. And you're like, I didn't say you could come here. I didn't say you could come to my house. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I hope so. Be vigilant, open up your eyes and make sure that you are paying attention because the moment you slip up is the moment they're going to slip in and you're going to be like, uh, where did they come from? And you're going to have a big problem on your hand, which you don't want to handle. You don't want to deal with because listen, I know what it's like, but I'm so happy. I'm so happy to report that I have not had bed bugs. And it should be already two years. It should be. Okay. I know I said it's a year and a half, but it's been a long time, y'all. I've been free, set free. Nothing on these lovely arms. Nothing eating me on at nighttime. No complaints from my family. I am just, oh my God. And I want y'all to be like that too, because these things really can be frustrating and making you upset and like, Every time they bite you, it hurts really bad because it's like it makes you jump. That's how bad it hurts when they bite you. So just take these six tips right now. This is part one, and we're going to do part two on tomorrow of uh, the rest of the way how to, um, you know, kill them or get rid of them uh, naturally instead of, you know, going out and having to get a exterminator. And all of that. But like I said, if you have an infestation, please, please, please go get that. Because at that point, it's going to be probably hard to actually get rid of these bed bugs. Which I wouldn't know because I have never had an infestation. So if you do have one and you try these tips and, and it works out, please let us know in the comments. Let us know. Did you get rid of them with, uh, with what the tips that I'm giving you? And... And, uh, you know, did they go away? It, even an infestation? Because I wouldn't know that because I have not ever had an infestation. I did not ever let it get to that point. So please join me again on Me Talk TV. I will have another video coming up for you on tomorrow. So please be looking for that video. Um, I'm just so happy to be able to help you out there. Thank you, thank you, thank you for subscribing all to all my new subscribers and to everyone who has always been here for me, um, pushing that button, listening, and getting help with these little creatures because they are creatures. They are just annoying, and I know y'all get tired of that, so that's why I'm here to help y'all. And I love to answer all your questions. You all have so many great questions so if you have any more, just leave them in a comment and I will continue to do, do the Q&A like I've been doing so we can so I can answer some more of your questions. I love you guys. Be blessed and keep the bed bugs away. Bye-bye.